Ciao, buongiorno a tutti e benvenuti in questo nuovo video. Oggi ho il piacere di intervistare Guillermo, un collega che lavora in Svizzera tedesca attualmente specializzando in anestesia. È da tempo che cercavo un collega che ci aiutasse a scoprire un po' questa parte del paese e a spiegarci un po' le principali differenze rispetto alla confinante Germania. Guillermo, come me, racconta cosa vuol dire vivere da medico straniero in Svizzera tedesca e in Germania in un canale YouTube in inglese. Il canale si chiama Eutopia e vi invito a visitarlo. Quindi grazie mille Guillermo per l'intervista e iniziamo. Dici in due parole il tuo percorso dall'università fino ad oggi. Ciao Stefano e ciao everyone out there. My name is Guillermo, although here I am better known as Utopia. I come from Spain and even though I come from Spain, I studied medicine in Lithuania inside the European Union. Around the fourth year of my medical studies, I realized that I didn't really want to work in Spain and I didn't really want to work in Lithuania and so I wanted to be somewhere better and I researched a couple of countries and eventually I decided I would learn German and work in one of the three main German-speaking countries. Uh, I invested about two years after my studies to learn German and eventually after two years I started working in Germany as a resident in anesthesia. I worked over there for two years as well and then I realized it wasn't really for me or maybe I could do better and so I applied for Switzerland, got a job here and now I am here again working as a resident anesthesia since almost one year already. Ma prima di continuare fatemi presentare lo sponsor di questo video che mi permette di supportare il lavoro di questo canale cambiavalute.ch è il servizio più conveniente che permette di cambiare i franchi svizzeri in euro e viceversa il tutto senza coda agli sportelli comodamente da casa risparmiando fino all'80% rispetto ai costi medi di banche e cambi tradizionali è un servizio prezioso per tutti coloro che come me abitano vicino a una frontiera quindi io abito a Ginevra quindi per me sarà un servizio molto pratico per la Francia quindi sicuramente non qualche cosa destinata esclusivamente a chi fa il frontaliere con il canton Ticino Cambiavalute.ch è sicuro e trasparente perché tutto avviene tramite bonifico e non ci sono spese o costi nascosti ricevi esattamente la cifra prevista senza spese aggiuntive direttamente sul tuo conto bancario in Svizzera o in Europa quindi non esitare oltre e visita il sito Cambiavalute.ch vi lascio il link qui sotto in descrizione Partiamo subito con una domanda importantissima. Come hai imparato il tedesco e quanto tempo ti c'è voluto? The German learning pathway in my case was a bit complicated. I started around the fourth to fifth year of my studies and I didn't really go very hard on the German because I was still finishing my medical studies anyway. And once I graduated, I studied a bit harder. It took me about two years after graduation to really speak German properly and to be allowed to work in Germany. There's a whole process of exams. So it took about two years after graduation. Dici un po' come lo svizzero tedesco influenza la tua attività quotidiana sia clinica che fuori dall'ospedale e anche in termini di relazioni sociali. Here in Switzerland, of course, they speak German, but they also speak the so-called Swiss German. It's not like really a language, it's more like a dialect, it doesn't really have many rules. And depending on where you are in Switzerland, they will speak it in a different way. So even if you learn one Swiss German, then you move to hospitals and they speak it differently. It's complicated, it makes your life a bit more difficult, but most of the time people are accommodating and they speak high German or typical German. Not everyone does it and it can get a bit awkward with among colleagues and among patients, but it works. And exactly speaking about awkwardness when it comes to the language, language is only one of the barriers. Swiss people are known to be rather nationalistic and Not that they are racist, but they don't they really like to be among themselves and although foreigners are welcome, they are only welcome partially. And it's not only about the language, it's also about the culture. As a foreigner, among colleagues, you do notice that you don't really make the friendships, even though they are nice to you and they are polite with you. You rarely go through and become friends like True friends with them. Per quanto riguarda la tua esperienza, come reagiscono i pazienti quando sentono che il medico è straniero e soprattutto non di madrelingua tedesca? When it comes to the patients, you also feel a certain distance from them. I personally realized as a resident in anesthesia, it is my job to prepare them for the operation, to talk about anesthesia. I am the last person they see before they close their eyes and go to sleep, so they have to put a lot of trust on me. And you can tell at the beginning when I'm talking to them introduce myself that that trust is not there and during the conversation 30 minutes 40 minutes that I talk to them eventually I build that that trust and, and then it's not a problem anymore but you do feel a little bit at the beginning that you have to give a little extra effort because and it does give the feeling that it is because because you're not Swiss of course it's only a guessing what I have I am not Swiss so I couldn't have the same conversation with the same patient for the first time being Swiss and being a foreigner It's just a feeling that, uh, that I get when I speak to some patients. 
especially old patients who are afraid and they are looking for someone to trust. And at the beginning, they may not find that someone in me. Also, by the way, same happens if you are too young. But generally, if you work hard and you are professional and you show them that you are a good doctor, then it's not a problem. Perché ti sei trasferito in Svizzera? E hai dei rimpianti? The reason I moved to Switzerland is probably the same reason everyone wants to move to Switzerland. We have our countries where we come from and they are not perfect countries, nor is Switzerland, but we, we think about our future and we would like something better. And we see in, in Switzerland a better country. We see a country that works well without corruption. You get a lot of money. Life is more expensive, yes, and you have to work long hours, yes, but overall you see a stable future for yourself and that's what I did for myself. Like I said, I didn't want to go back to Spain to work and I considered many other countries and uh, among them it was Germany, it was Switzerland. I started with Germany. Germany didn't quite end up being what I expected it to be so I eventually came here to Switzerland which does seem more like my fit as a country. Of course this is always a trade. There are things that you have to let go uh, in order to live here cannot have the same lifestyle that you would have in Spain or in Italy as here. Well, maybe in South Switzerland. So far, I don't have any regrets, although it's true that I've been living here for just a year and uh, so far the integration is difficult and as a resident, you have to change hospital all of the time anyway, so it's complicated to make friends. I understand that that's the case and my expectations were low anyway, so at the moment it's fine. I don't really know if this continues this way. How long you can be in a country where you don't really feel 100% work welcome or 100% integrated in the society. But so far, it's what it was to be expected and I've come here to work hard and to become a specialist and so far, no regrets. Quali sono le principali differenze da medico specializzando in Svizzera e in Germania? Germany and Switzerland have a lot of differences when it comes to being a resident and when it comes to being a doctor in general. In Germany, let's just put it this way, there is a bit less money and so as a doctor you need to do a lot more stuff and there is less of you. So you have to work very hard and it's very intense. In Switzerland, on the other hand, you have more support. You have more attending doctors per every resident and you have more phlegm and uh, phlegm means a nurse and you have more people supporting you in your work. However, your working hours are longer and having more support does not necessarily mean that you learn more. For example, in Germany, since you don't have much support, you have to learn how to do everything rather quickly because there is no one there behind you to catch you if you fall. Well, theoretically there is, but in the practice you have very little support. So in Germany you have to learn quickly and you have to get good very quickly. Here in Switzerland you don't have to learn so quickly because you have always someone there by you and there are some things that you would be doing in Germany right away that in Switzerland they don't let you do until you get some experience. So from a practical point of view and from a decisions making point of view in Switzerland it's a bit slower as a resident than in Germany. However, having more time and having less things to do per hour, let's say, frees you to learn more about the theory, to go to Fortbildungen, meaning courses and classes given by your superiors. So your quality of learning and learning process is much better than in Germany. Also, as you begin as a first, second year resident, you don't have so much fear because there's always someone, someone there for you and you can relax and enjoy the process, which in Germany is not really. When it comes to the salary, it is more or less the same. Yes, you do get a bit more as a resident in Switzerland, but life is also a bit more expensive than in Germany. So at the end of the day, when it comes to quality of life, more or less stays the same. If you don't really do anything with your life anyway, you don't go out and you don't go to restaurants, then Switzerland is a clear winner because you do save a lot of money. But if you have this uh, southern lifestyle sort of Spanish, Italian, going out and drinking something with the friends, then actually could be the case that Germany is much cheaper to live in than Switzerland. And especially as a resident, if that's the case, it is more difficult to live in Switzerland than in Germany. Later on, as you become a specialist, you do get a lot more money as a specialist in Switzerland compared to Germany. So in the long term, it is really worth it. E perché anche tu hai deciso di aprire un canale YouTube? Questa è una domanda più per me. I opened a YouTube channel because I remember when I was preparing to come to Germany, the whole process seemed so damn difficult. Like I had to send so many papers to the authorities, like in Switzerland is the Mebeco. There was a similar one in Germany and I had to do these exams, these language exams. And I didn't really know how to prepare for them. And I found the whole process so annoying. 
and so not easy to learn that I thought, I wish someone had told me about this. And I literally made a YouTube channel and told everyone my experience with it. And then it just kept going. Pensi di rimanere in Svizzera nel futuro, di cambiare paese, di andare in Germania, altrove? When it comes to my future, staying in Switzerland, going back to Germany, going back to Spain, maybe somewhere else, I don't really know. There's a lot of factors in life. Life in Switzerland is nice, it's good, it's safe, it's however expensive. It's good to be here if you're working. If you decide to reduce working, then life can become very expensive. Also, I don't really have family or basically many people around here, so it can get lonely at times. I would like to stay here, and I think that anyone who comes to Switzerland will be happy living in Switzerland. But actually, no one can read the future, so who knows? So far, I'm staying. All right, thanks everyone for listening to this uh, short story of my life, and thanks uh, Stefano for having me in your channel. You are as well welcome in my channel at any time if you feel like coming to Central Switzerland, which is probably not as sunny, but is nice as well, then you're absolutely welcome. It's been a blast. Thank you, everyone. Ciao. Grazie, Guillermo, per questa intervista. Fatemi sapere se per voi lo svizzero tedesco vi sembra un ostacolo insormontabile e ditemi quanti di voi, dopo il racconto dell'esperienza di Guillermo, si sono convinti a lanciarsi in questa avventura. E noi, come al solito, ci vediamo nel prossimo video. Ciao! Grazie a Cambiavalute.ch per aver sponsorizzato questo video e vi lascio tutti i link in descrizione.